Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Bootstrap View. It's a UI framework for the Vue.js and uh, I will explain about the, the B image tag, about how you can work with it and play around with it. And uh, that, that's what we're going to work with today. I really hope you enjoy and I really hope you want to subscribe. If you don't know how to subscribe, you can go in for the right corner below and click on the thing, then you're going to subscribe. Remember all the code for this view video and for all the other videos I am creating, I will share the, the code on my GitHub profile. The links will be in the description. You can just scroll down below in the video and then you can find the, the description. So let's go ahead hit to, uh, to create the first image tag. The first image tag should be the B image and then we need the source and I have a source called uh, the placeholder so HTTPS and place kitten dot com and we need an uh, image on 1024 and 400 and then we use the few for the field I think and um, then we can go in for the browser and see what happening you can see now we have a, a nice little kitty where we have a, a responsive here what is what it does you can see inspect element here it's having the a small one then um, yeah, the image uh, fuel here will, will have the max width with 100% and the height will be 100 so it will try to scale up if you if you be in a smaller area you will be scaling down and, uh, and else it will stop at 100% if we're going back for our, the editor let's go and do this and uh, we want a new image I'll just copy this one and let's say we only have uh, a size of uh, 300 and 150 and going for the browser here you can see we're scrolling down the image will not be uh, bigger than the 300.105 and uh, if we want to change this we can uh, just add the grow on it so let's go back for the editor here and uh, say grow and save it and let's go back for the editor now you can see we are scaling up for the full width of the container we are working with so the, the real containers uh, width here should be 1110.555 and you can see now it's, it's bigger than, than the original bit image we have up here and uh, it's because the contain container is bigger than we we have the original image too so let's play around with the with, with the thumbnail about that so we can see how it's scale if we having the the image inside and mark it as a thumbnail to do this we need to go inside the, the editor again and uh, let's build the container here so what we're gonna do is say b container and inside that we need to say b row dot radio row and inside here we have the column let's build uh, just copy this one and uh, we have the three images here we say 250 and 250 and then we say thumbnail and I'll just copy this three time and save it and if we're going back for the browser now you can see we have a different now the thumbnail here will be we need a little space below and close it down again now you can see we have a little bit border here if we inspect the element you will see the styles of the image thumbnail having the padding and background and border and border radius and max width and, and the height and that's the easy way where you can make the image uh, as a thumbnail but the thumbnail still doesn't uh, fill out the container we can do this with the same uh, we do before so let's say we want to grow this one just the one, one of those so you have two other then you can see we're filling up the, the container and it's doing much bigger now we have the image with the 330 with 330 and it's filling out the container 
Now I think it's time to speak about how we can change the, the corners with the with round. And uh, we need a, a kitty again. So let's take this kitty and remove this one. And uh, I just remove this one too. And uh, I set a class inside with the mark and right too. And I need to round. And the first one just with round here. And the image should be smaller than, than that. It should be 150 and 150. So let's take the first image here. We can see we have the, yeah, I need to make something below so we have a little space down so it's not going down to the bottom. You can see we have the, the first image here. It's having rounding corners of all, but of course you can, um, you can create different uh, different rounds like the lift and the top right and, and something like that and that's what we're gonna show now so so let's doing this and uh, going into the editor one more time the first one should be top can just say top here and then we need the right and then we need the bottom and we need the lift whoops and then we need circle and now I think we have a different cases in the browser so let's go inside you can see the first one it's a we have round it's having rounding on everything I'm scrolling in so you can see what's happening here you can see the first one here is having rounding on all the corners the next one only have on the top so if you have in the top image and the bottom image you can uh, combine it so it look more nice in, in the rounds or you can have the, the rounds here in the left corner then you have a uh, round in the left corner too and you can do it in the bottom so you can combine those and then you have a circle like say if you have an uh, avatar where you need to show the profile image of the, the person then the circle will be probably the nice one and that's how you can work with the, with the circle sometimes it will be nice to to place the image in, in the way we want so we can do this uh, right away normally you will use a uh, deal and, and then you have the image here let's just say this one and remove the round we just remove everything here normally if you want to float left you do this and if you want to float uh, right you can do this but the built-in function here it's much easier so you can just say lift and right and uh, if you need it to center you can just copy it down here and say center and then we have done what we want to do let's see it in the browser scroll down you can see we have lift center and right and everything here is placed in the right uh, way and I don't have added the, the clear fix if you if I'm adding the clear fix this one will be in the next line so let's uh, just for fun try to do this um, clear fix and then we come in a new line but we don't need that so we can just remove this and remove this and then we're good to go let's see the brass one more time and now something here it's, it's not reacting as it should be so let's go back and see we have it here so it's not it's not uh, random what what it's doing and uh, that's fine so let's go back to the browser I can explain what happening what it's doing when you make a float it's trying to floating up on anything and, and move it up and the first deal box is it's press the image for the left and the second one for the light for the right and the the second deal box is trying to be pushed in the middle and because we have space in the middle it will bump up here as we see it so it's no wrong and that's working exactly what we expect the last thing we want to to speak about should be about the lazy loading for the image it's built in with the with this nice uh, bootstrap uh, view framework and I'll just take this one and remove the center and the image 
I want to take this time should be 1000 but 300 and the only thing I need to say is the lazy and then it's the lazy load and you can see it here if I'm going up here and load and just follow up let's say the traffic here and you say everything and scrolling down scrolling down and now it's coming to 300 so when you're scrolling down it's waiting until you're in the viewpoint of the browser and then it will downloading the image and the nice thing to do it in this way it's uh, if you have a lot of image in the in the art uh, in the article or something like that when your newspapers and and blog posts and everything then you the load for the client will be much faster because it doesn't need to download the images all the way down before it's serving the page and in other cases when people using more than more mobiles then it will be much faster to, to do so i recommend you if it's possible use lazy load because then you save a lot of traffic on the client and of course on your server too because you don't only load what is in the viewpoint for the client and that's everything about the image in Bootstrap View and I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, you can do it in the right corner below and press the thing. And don't forget to share and like this video too. All the, all the code will be on my GitHub. You can find the GitHub link in the description and then you're welcome to follow me on GitHub too. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.